I was working on a circuit on my workbench and this started to oscillate. I wasn't, you know, finished with what I wanted to build, but it started oscillating. And I go, how can that be? Because I don't have a signal going to the base. And it oscillates really well. I can turn the voltage off and turn the 12 volts back on and it's a solid oscillator. Well, I uh, uh, tried a few things. I actually put the transistor and the bias uh, resistors on another board and just wired it to the to the uh, uh, coil and but it you know did exactly the same thing and I thought well I'll put in some choke coils because I'm trying to figure out how this is oscillating we need some kind of feedback somehow so I put the choke coils in uh, one on the ground one on the power and uh, I've got them shorted out right now and I'm going to lift or take the short off of the uh, top one which is going to the B plus okay I'm going to pull it out right now and absolutely no change okay so now I'm going to pull out the one that's going to the ground. Absolutely no change. So that's telling me that the feedback's not coming in through the ground or the power supply, the 12 volts. Okay, how is this working? So I... Uh, took a look at, of course, looking at the collector is the yellow and the emitter is the uh, blue. And you can see that's pretty nice trace. I adjusted the variable resistor until I got a nice looking trace. And uh, the 10k ohm resistor. So, well, let's take a look at uh, the uh, I'll take the lead off of the collector and we'll put it on the base here. Okay, now now we're looking at the top is the base and the bottom is the emitter. And uh, let's see. I'm going to bring this down here. What I want to do is get one on top of another. Okay, let's do two here. And bring this up. Alright. It looks in phase to me, but now I'm going to change the level of 1. Let me increase the yellow here. I'm not changing the frequency or phase, just the level. That looks pretty much the same to me, which is real interesting. Okay, I'm going to go back to the, take the yellow off of the base and put it back onto the collector. Okay. 
and you can see that of course it's bigger since I increased the value but it's you know out of phase but it's not a hundred and eighty degree out of the phase which is what you would expect from emitter to collector now this is really unusual what is going on here okay let me reset my oscilloscope now it'll take just a second okay not sync back up to one that's the default I want uh, I want it on two. All right. Okay, now we're sinking on the bottom one. Okay, I thought, well, what would happen if I swapped the wires on the secondary? So that's what I'm going to do now. It's only 12 volts and I've got the current limited. Okay. To my surprise, even when I swapped the leads around on the secondary, it still oscillates. Now let's take a look at the base. Take the lead off of the collector and move it onto the base. It stops oscillating. Okay, even trying to put a probe on the base, look at the base, it stops oscillating. So it's not near as stable as the first setup. Okay, well, let me put this back the way it should be. Okay, we'll unswap those leads. There we go. And I thought, well, let me swap the leads on the emitter. Okay, so... Let's see here. Take that off. Put on down here. Okay. That's swapped. And again, it's about the same out of phase, but not close to being 180 and let me put the uh, scope on the base again see what happens again it stops oscillating oops there we go hmm okay so let me swap both of them. Well, I've got the emitter swapped. Let me swap uh, the collector or the secondary here. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now they're uh, now I've swapped both of them. And it still looks about the same. Let me uh, lower that down. And uh, let's see. We need to bring that one up. Yep, about the same. OK, 
Okay, now let me put the probe on the base. Oh, with them both swapped. It still oscillates. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm putting it back on the collector. And I'm going to swap everything back the way it should be. Okay, here's the... Secondary. And now I'm going to swap the primary back the way it should be. Okay, and of course the way the coil is wound, this is the most efficient and the way it was designed to be used. There's the secondary, er, the uh, base, I mean, excuse me, the base and emitter. This is the collector and emitter. So after looking at all this, I'm thinking that uh, the secondary is magnetically coupled into the primary, adding and subtracting from the voltage that is on the emitter, adding and subtracting from it, and uh, when that happens, the emitter base junction is forward bias, which makes that almost a wire, or a very low ohm wire. So that means that if you vary what's on the emitter, I'm varying what's on the base. And uh, when the voltage varies on the base, it uh, determines uh, what the resistance is between the emitter and collector. And so our feedback, is, I think, is coming from the emitter to the base, which is, uh, I just thought, very, very interesting. Thanks for watching.